This picturesque little town is best known for its massive Benedictine Abbey, one of the most splendid monastic houses in Austria. The Milk Abbey is situated on a rock overlooking the Danube Valley, and it's one of Europe's great sites, a site you'll get the chance to enjoy as part of the Grand European Cruise with Viking. It looks more like an imperial palace than a monastery. Its splendid architecture is famous worldwide, and it's part of UNESCO's World Cultural Heritage. The Abbey was founded in 1089 when Leopold II, the Margrave of Austria, gifted one of his castles to Benedictine monks. Now, this was a very important location. In fact, the Babenberg family, the first rulers of Austria, actually lived here for a period of time. In the 12th century, it was turned into a monastic school with a library that housed one of the most important collections of manuscripts. In the 15th century, the Abbey became the centre of the Melk Reform Movement, which reinvigorated the monastic life of Austria and southern Germany. The Abbey experienced fires and also an invasion, and what we're seeing today is 18th century Baroque style. For 900 years, the monks of St Benedict have lived and worked in Melk's Abbey. During the Reformation in the 1500s, the occupation by Napoleon in the 1800s and the occupation by the Nazis in the 1900s. And today, their institution still survives, funded by agriculture and tourism. So your visit is actually helping restore and maintain this spectacular building. And I reckon that's another good reason to visit. There are so many features here, but the library with beautiful ceiling paintings and more than 16,000 volumes and rare manuscripts is well worth visiting. It's graced with a ceiling fresco by Paul Troger. The library is considered the second most important room in the whole abbey by the Benedictine monks. Now, of course, the first one was the church, but what a library. Take a look at this. I've seen some impressive libraries in my time, but nothing quite as spectacular as this. There are over 100,000 books here in 12 rooms. And there's one that dates right back to the 10th century. The Abbey Museum, which used to be the Imperial Rooms, offers a unique exhibition of art and multimedia illustrating the monastery's 900-year-old history. There are some really beautiful relics here on display. A spiral staircase leads you to another set of 10 library rooms, not open to the public. And the Baroque church with its 200 foot tall dome and symmetrical towers. The Abbey Church is considered the finest Baroque church north of the Alps and is famous for its twin towers surmounted by helm roofs. And the interior with the 18th century ceiling paintings, ornate choir stalls, and high altar with figures of the patron saints of the church, St. Peter and St. Paul. With these beautiful gardens designed to highlight the gorgeous Baroque pavilion, you really want to make sure that you stop in and check this place out as part of your tour of the Abbey.